Hello, and welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time visiting us, please take this moment to click subscribe and turn on your notifications. The Dutch capital is undeniably gorgeous, but during a canal cruise, you can see the city in a whole different light. While on our canal tour, we were able to see the beautiful facades of stately canal houses gliding past us and the most beautiful areas of Amsterdam. We saw all of the city highlights from churches, towers, gorgeous 17th century canal houses from the Dutch Golden Age, houseboats, cute bridges, and yes, the red light district. Even if you're not into typical touristy things, seeing the city on a canal tour is an absolute must when you're visiting Amsterdam. This was a relaxing 75 minute tour that was well worth the money. Behind our boat in a moment, we see a tall tower over there. It's called the Adam Tower with the white pillar on top. And if the white pillar is a, is a swing, you can go on, it's called Sweden over here. It's a hill tilt over there that was a monster's. Only cost uh, 20 years to do. Underneath the Sween is a square floor that is a special restaurant. Because if you go taller there, you go back to, uh, to your table, it will be in a different place because it's a rotating and a a restaurant. On the right side we see the old headquarters of the East Indian Company. In the past you could buy a ticket there to make a vote. Opened in 1984 and on its opening day this restaurant actually sank. What happened? They packed the restaurant full with the, with the Mexican pasty, about 800 people. But they didn't take into account that Dutch people are a lot taller and heavier than Chinese people, so it sank. To make the restaurant become big, afloat again, they let 150 Chinese people leave the restaurant. We gave them a corner bag with food inside, and that's how our Chinese takeaway came to be. The top floor is the most expensive one because you have the most time to finish it in the case it sinks. Other part of the story why this restaurant sank, because this restaurant is a replica of the original restaurant called Jumbo. Jumbo Watchtower, the French Tower of Amsterdam. They tore, they tore the vessel down to be up expensive. It was called the Kayan Tower because this, this used to be as you can see, we have a lot of big boats here in Amsterdam. But we don't just call them boats, we call them houseboats. Because people live in them throughout the whole year, even in the winter. How the houseboats came to be, there was a shortage of housing in the past in Amsterdam. So people without a, without a house did, they took in old fighter cargo ships like these in, in the 60s and 70s and made houseboats out of them. They were not legal at the time, they were not officially registered as a home by the government. They had no address, no house number, no electricity, no running water, no sewer system, no heating. Now they all do, and now they've all been legalized because it's a must for the government to have all of that. They liked the concept of houseboat so much that they decided to make more of them on the left hand side. You see this rectangular houseboat, like a real house on the water, not an actual, not an actual ship. There's a concrete foundation underneath. That foundation inside is hollow, filled with air, and that's how it's able to stay afloat. <laughs> and stay the walls of the canal as well. Now it's not cheap to live in a houseboat. The cheapest, smallest houseboat is maybe half a million euros. Uh, but these are not the smallest ones, on not the euros for the floor. You can also enroll into a social living company. Uh, average waiting time is about 15 years. You can apply for an apartment uh, in Amsterdam and then the rent is about 700 euros rent a month. And the private sector, 3000 euros rent a month. But right now we're passing this bridge. This used to be a toll bridge uh, where the guard sat over the bridge for ships to come to. On the left hand side, the black can house was the guard house. As you can see, it's not exactly straight, it's leaning to the left. It's now a cafe. You can go, go there if you like to drunk because you're on the left hand side. Stop the old 
Opera. It was a big protest to stop the construction of the Opera. Uh, last 20 years, last all the work and protest to make that building, there was a fort in Amsterdam. Our bridge is the most ugliest building. You can already guess that this one was on top. It's for the most ugliest because it looks like a pair of teeth, dangerous or brazen. Now soon coming up on the right side, uh, on the right side of the upcoming bridge, uh, one of the canal houses there is actually fake. It's some kind of uh, eye test. Can you see which one it is? I will tell you once we pass the bridge. And in front of us, uh, we see a white bridge, not this one, but the bridge ahead. I'll tell you about that in the meantime. That is our most famous bridge of Amsterdam. It's called the Magerbrug, the Ennebrugge, the Skinny Bridge. Expensive canal of Amsterdam. This is the Herengracht, Herengracht, Gentlemen's Canal. All the canals here, almost all canals, are two times as wide as normal canals, 12 meters wide. These were the rich statesmen of Amsterdam started to live. They made the canals as wide as possible to live in luxury and also to show how wealthy they were. Now less than 1% of the Netherlands can actually afford to live here, so you can find mostly businesses, banks like the ING and the front left, lawyer firms, insurance companies and all other criminals. As you can imagine, it's not cheap to live in the canal house here. The cheapest canal house is maybe 15, 1, 5 million euros and about 5 million euros for a floor. I used to live there who, who uh, was a sweet baker. <laughs> On the left hand side, you see one of the most prestigious luxurious hotels of Amsterdam. It's the Waldorf Astoria. In the past, I bought about 8 can houses for 1 million euros. I decided to make this 5 store hotel out of it. Uh, you can expect to spend at least 1000 euros a night here, and that is excluding breakfast. <laughs> In a moment we will pass this bridge, we will take a left onto a canal called the Regeliesgracht with seven arch bridges in a row. It's a beautiful view, you can only see it from the water. Coming up in a short moment, to the right of the upcoming bridge, we see the red canal house. And that canal house is a bird above the door next to the blue street sign. If you can guess which bird that is, you can also guess the profession of the owner of the canal house. I'll give you a tip. It's not a heron, it's not a pelican, it's a different bird. Not a heron, not a pelican. The skinny bridge, again. Now there's a very lovely legend about this bridge. The legend goes, if you call and leave the bridge for the first time and you kiss the one you love, then your love will be forever. <laughs> and also decide to hug each other, give each other a handshake or a high five from a ton of friendship. Whatever you decide to do, make a wise decision, grab a screen on time, and now you have less than 30 seconds to decide. <laughs> So I hope you're ready, on the count of 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nothing? Well, don't, don't worry if you couldn't find any love in Amsterdam. There's a little place where you can go to where you love last for 10 minutes and cost you 50 euros. And we're going there right now. So I'm going to out to the best spot.
<laughs> On the right side we see the Hermitage, it used to be a retirement home. Then it changed into a museum, which played uh, Russian art in St. Petersburg. So it stopped showing Russian art because the current copy going on. So now they only uh, play Dutch art, as you can see from the Dutch flag in the On the right side you can see a houseboat and you can see some uh, swans here. And normally there are swans, but there's a swan nest there. The swan nest with babies. No, it's in the On the right side we also see a beautiful canal with the top bridge and the southern church over there. Now, how do you get these canals came to be? All canal houses used to be built on wooden beams. These roofs got exposed to water and oxygen all the time. 
wie op start al had, de kinderkoeken, dus met de kenhuis van de kinderkoeken. Nou, Dave zegt dat deze foundation van Happy Kenhuis met de pand niet. En je don't shift anymore, en het je hebt shift, dan is het een lekker firming. There's the black veins in the middle of the house of the stabilizer. We call them the dancing houses because they're crooked, but also because um, behind the dancing houses is the Rampart Square, where, where we have a lot, lot of clubs. And you see the houses dance on the rhythm of the people in the clubs. We also call them the gay houses of Amsterdam because they are not straight. Van de pas, we zien de Muntoren, Mint Tower, hier is de best coins daar. Hier is de part of the van de Amsterdam Nou, dan komen we de kant op, je kan bijna zoeken die shop daar. Je kan bijna tellen zo lang. En dan heeft de Tower, is een kanaal voor de liefste de vrouwenmarkt van Amsterdam. Je kunt bijna tulips of alles of zo. We have the longest shopping street of Amsterdam, it's called the Kantelstraat. We have a lot of souvenir shops here. Yeah, All the souvenirs yeah. are made in China. We get a lot, we get a lot of Chinese tourists. They visit our souvenir shops and they buy all the souvenirs back. It's like double profit. <laughs> now in a, in a little bit, we're going to add quite a narrow canal. The canal only allows boats up to 40 meters long. Um, so keep your hands inside. Keep your hands inside. You can guess how long this boat is. About 40 meters long. It will be a tight squeeze. If the boat hits the walls of the canal a little bit, don't worry. There's the bumper, bumper and rubber band on the outside to protect it from the walls. In front of us, we see a, a, a statue of a lady on the horse. That's the great grandmother of our king, Willem Alexander. Her name is Wilhelmina. But if you look closer at the horse, something is wrong about the way the horse is moving. Can you see it? Can you tell me what it is? I can tell you what it is. Uh, Pop its right legs are up. The stick is not possible for what to do. It needs one leg up on each side to be able to keep it balanced. Okay, the person with that statue. The old people look inside the windows by boat the whole time. You can't walk there though. Thank you for taking the time to view our video. We love sharing our adventures with you and hope you stay tuned for many more that we have planned. If you have not taken the time to do this yet, please click like, turn on your notifications and subscribe. Be sure to look for our upcoming videos on our hotel stay in The Hague and our final thoughts of the Celebrity 15-Day Transatlantic Cruise.